Greetings all, Fanny here for Cancer's Daily Oracle Message. First of all, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I am so happy to have you guys here. Your energy is absolutely beautiful and has made me smile reading all your comments. All right. The first two cards that came out for you today, Cancer, are the Ancient Oak Spirit of Strength and the Bluebell Fairy of Gratitude. Now, oak is one of these sacred trees in um, Celtic mythology and Celtic paganism. Oak, ash, and thorn, as in Hawthorne. And so for that to come out, the oak tree is very wise and as it states, very old. It was one of the first trees amongst the earth. And so to have that strength of old, old, wise earth is amazing, Cancer, because it not only shows the fortitude that you've had to withstand the struggles and things that you have gone through, it shows how deeply your roots really go. And trees are fascinating when you look at them like biologically and chemically. Not only can they share nutrients with each other through their root system and the connections that they have in the earth, they feel everything that the other trees feel. So I hate seeing these, but when logging and things happen, like I get physically sick. But it's also sad to know that all of those other trees that remained after their other ones were cut down, they felt all of that. And for this cancer, I'd say that you have the strength to withstand all of the hell that you will go through in this world because you are strong, because you are wise enough, and because you are ancient of the earth. The Bluebell Fairy of Gratitude is wanting to remind you that being grateful for what you have is very important. If you have lost a lot, it is even more important for you to be grateful for what you have because you know firsthand how quickly all of that can go away. And that's not something to look at the world pessimistic, oh, what is the point of life? The point of life is to live. The point... Whoa! I was literally just about to say this. The point of life is to love. Wild Rose Fairy love. Ferret, that's so cool. So Cancer, even if you have struggled, even if you have suffered loss, do not let that stop you from loving. Do not let that stop you from living because you're still breathing. You're still here for a reason. And those people that you have lost are watching over you in the spirit realm, guiding you so that you can live your life to the fullest and achieve everything you were meant to. If you've lost um, a loved one, a former partner, anything like that, they still love you and they still watch over you and they wouldn't want you to live your life in constant mourning of them because they're watching over you and they will reunite with you when your time comes. So allow yourself to love again. Of course, it's going to take time. Like The greatest love was for myself was my dog, Oscar. When I was 10 years old, he passed away because he was having seizures. And it took me 12 years to get another dog because, like, I couldn't love like that again. I didn't think I could. And I'm so happy that I did because now I have Artemis and Hestia. And they're crazy little doodle crackheads that absolutely light up my world. And I'm so happy for them. Yeah. Look, life has uncertainties. There are no guarantees. There's no absolutes. You're going to be going through this thicket of thorns. But you will have refuge. You will have places that protect you. You will have people that protect you and show you that you are still worthy of love, that you are worthy of acceptance, and that you are worthy of living your life. You also have the stag spirit of leadership. Maybe everything that you have gone through, lessons, blessings, losses, and everything, is to help guide you to become this leader to be a protector of that which you have lost, to guide people to take their strength back, take back their power. And through the loss of everything, you will protect those who who are struggling with what you went through. Cancer, you are incredible. You are beautiful. Your heart and the capacity that it has is still so deep, deep as the ancient oak's roots, deep as the earth herself. So please do not... Do not let yourself wallow in the negativity and the loss of it all. Purify yourself of it. 
because yes you want to be able to feel your emotions and truly feel them if you want to cry cry if you want to scream scream get it out of your system don't hold it all inside and push it down because that is going to create energetic blockages that will become physical ailments seriously it's it's crazy how often energetic blockages translates into physical ailments if you have a very damaged root chakra you could have gi upsets or in my case a lack of a menstruational cycle like that's only something that i've started recently and i'm 23 years old but because my root chakra was so damaged and the work that i have done to heal it it is healing my body in that ailment if you have a lot of sacral chakra uh, energy damage you could have lower gi upset uh stomach ulcers for your solar plexus heart chakra you could have heart palpitations things like that it is insane how much energetic um upsets and energetic blockages translates into physical ailments so allow yourself to feel that pain allow yourself to go through it fully but also release it purify yourself of it because love is still yours yes you may have uncertainty yes you may feel like you are dying inside but you're not you're still here you're still breathing and that is for a reason you're meant to do something greater wiser and more powerful than anything you're giving yourself credit for right now so if you have to go through healing do that take that refuge take some time for yourself so that you can release all of that that is hurting you because it's so important for you to feel your emotions to allow yourself to go through the motions of it all but as i was saying don't dwell in it don't stay in that negative place because you're not serving yourself or the people you're meant to help new beginnings you are going through a rebirth right now cancer you are expanding so please allow yourself to do so allow yourself this new beginning do not feel guilt that you're moving on that person is still beside you in the ancestral realms they still want you to have your happiness and so don't feel guilt for moving on don't feel guilt for moving forward and starting your life over because that's what we have to do i mean think about in school i mean you go through your your entire year of like sixth seventh eighth grade whatever it is you go through the ups and downs, the highs and lows, and then you have your rest period, your refuge in the summer, and then you start all over again. New beginning, new person, new classrooms, new classmates, new teachers, everything. You start a new life every single year, every single day. You start a new life, so don't limit yourself because you feel like you're just honoring those who are no longer beside you you would be dishonoring them by not moving forward by not living your life because they can't anymore and that they're not upset by that i mean the spirit doesn't have the the ego to be upset they just love you and they want to see you happy and they want to help you they're still there if you need to talk to them so call upon them if you need to but cancer you still have a life to live you still have people to meet and a person to become so allow yourself to go grow and glow my love have a beautiful day.